one thing I've noticed about myself recently is that I tend to love the idea of doing something versus actually doing it. And for some reason, I can't differentiate between those two things because my morning routine for the past few weekends has been wake up at some random time, like 11 a.m. or you know even later sometimes 12 p.m. and then just obsess about some idea that I have for a song or a short film or a YouTube video or it could even be an app idea like the Uber of backpacks or something like that and I just and I'm like oh it would be so cool for me to like make this app or to make this song and then I just watch a bunch of YouTube videos about other people doing those things and then I just get bored and start doing something else completely and oftentimes what this leads to is this fantasy of doing everything and what I mean by that is I have this vision in my head of what I want my perfect day to look like. And it will be jam-packed with all these different interests that I have and me making substantial progress in all these areas. And when I'm thinking about it, it feels amazing. And I'm like, wow, it would be so cool to, you know, make an app or, you know, make music and then make a video or make a comedy sketch and then do those sequentially with no breaks in between because I just want to be creative all day and I don't want to take any time away from that. But when I think about it, will I actually enjoy that? Will I actually enjoy the action of making a video and then making a song and then working on an app and then, you know, going and running a few miles and coming back and, and cooking a new meal? Like, I mean, all of that sounds good on paper, but when I actually take steps towards doing something, like opening my MacBook and firing up Google Docs and starting to write, for example, if I'm making a script for a YouTube video or a short film, it's super boring and I'm like, why is this not fun? And the problem with this is that I'm completely overlooking the process that I actually have to go through to create that song or make that video. So my solution of getting past this issue of obsessing about something versus actually doing it is to start doing 30 day challenges or experimenting with different activities that I'm interested in. A couple years ago when I was in college, I did this 30 day challenge where I woke up every day at 5 a.m. and I did this for about three weeks before I stopped uploading and the reason for that was because I felt like I was just posting the same type of video every single day. I wasn't really providing any sort of value to you know the people that were watching my video. And the reason why I want to continue doing these 30 day challenges is that in hindsight when I look back at the 5 a.m. challenge that I did, I wish I would have continued for the full 30 days instead of stopping at day 25 because it would have given me the confidence to complete something from start to finish. And I feel that by completing the entire challenge, it'll actually allow me to build up my discipline so that I can actually try something for a fixed period of time and then give my full feedback on it and then assess whether or not I want to continue doing that or modify it as needed. And this actually leads me to one of my favorite quotes from author, speaker, and entrepreneur Marie Forleo, where she states, clarity comes from engagement, not thought. So the reason why this quote resonated with me so much is because it clearly addressed the issue that I was facing with being stuck in this analysis paralysis mindset where I was constantly overthinking about something that I wanted to make or something that I wanted to try because I was trying to figure out, is this actually what I should do? So this quote specifically was one of the main reasons why I wanted to start making videos again because I love the idea of making videos, but I haven't actually made that many. And I think a big issue with me starting and stopping is that I feel like sometimes I'm making a video that I'm not super passionate about, but then when I think about it, it's just because I didn't try to add something else to it to make it more of my own or add my voice to it in some way. I was just trying to emulate from others instead of adding my own spin on it. And when I see it from that angle, I notice that I really do enjoy making videos. It's just that I have to be willing to do something that's a little different from others and not be afraid to use my own unique voice to tell a story or add my own flair to it. So going forward with this channel, I wanna shamelessly try things that I find interesting and not hold myself back from going in depth and exploring it. And that can be in the form of a 30 day challenge or some similar type of experiment. But I don't wanna stop midway and you know completely scrap the idea until I'm done with the specific constraints that I've put on that challenge, whether it's time bound or based on a certain number of projects that I need to complete, because if I do you know, quit again, then I'll just feel like I haven't fully given my all to something. And I wanna make sure I continue to do that and build up that discipline muscle like I mentioned earlier. With that being said, I'm super excited to start this YouTube channel where I'll be able to document my journey and then share the insights that I learned from the different areas that I'm interested in, personal growth, health and wellness, filmmaking, music, comedy, and also dancing. I've been getting into that recently as well. And ultimately my goal is to get to a point where I can create a lifestyle centered around 
the flow state. So what I mean by that is filling up my day with activities that put me in this state of flow where I'm completely locked in on what I'm doing and lose track of time and I feel this sense of like satisfaction and fulfillment which I believe is you know the best feeling in the world. And this relates to the concept of Wu Wei which is a principle of Taoism and it essentially means effortless action. Basically riding with the current instead of going against it. So while this idea of spontaneity is extremely intriguing to me, I still want to be able to keep a balance between structure and spontaneity. So that idea of balance can almost be visualized like a seesaw where I time block my schedule and ensure that I am spending enough time on working towards the goals that matter to me while also ensuring that I leave some space for free time or time that's unstructured. And that's why I decided to call this channel Diving Into Flow. So I'm super excited to make these videos and I'm going to be uploading every week for the rest of this year. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you next week. Peace.